been a while since I've made any videos for you and I figured it was time for a few updates. With the weather becoming nicer, everyone's thoughts are turning towards the outside. So I wanted to cover things like sheds, decks, stairs, porches, pools. The first thing I want to cover is do not do any work without a permit. If you're unsure if you need a permit, get a hold of the code office. We'll let you know. The reality is you probably do. And I'm probably going to get a report that you have rebuilt a deck without permits. And it's probably not going to be done right. I've gotten quite a few of those calls thus far. I have not, due to the workload, been able to follow through on checking a few of them. So I'm going to suggest if you've recently done any unpermitted work, you get your permits in. Because if I have to go post a stop work order, that's a $250 fee for a stop work order, plus I charge you double permit fees. That's for residential. If the property has three or more units, that falls under commercial. And at that point, it's a $500 stop work order fee with the double permit fees. So save us both some time, money, and paperwork, please. Submit those building permit applications. We'll come out and do some inspections, make sure that everything is done properly. Uh, now your sheds, if they are 160 square feet or less, can be anywhere from five feet off your property line in. If they are 160, over 160 square feet, they need to meet all structural setbacks for your property. That is something that everybody should be aware of because a lot of people are placing sheds and even those little plastic Home Depot sheds, if they're gonna be there year round, those are structures and they do require permitting. So we need to make sure you're getting your permit and that you're planning to place those appropriately. As far as pools, the big things that I wanna cover there are if you're having an above ground and your pool is 48 inches or taller, you need to be sure you have a locking ladder because otherwise when I come to do your final inspection, I have to fail that. If you have an in-ground pool, then that needs to be properly fenced and that fencing needs to be able to lock the pool completely away from anybody of a young age. So that's something that if you have questions about, you can certainly reach out to my office. We'll walk you through what you need done there. But those are some big things that I've come across a lot. So I wanted to make sure everybody was aware of those items. If you question whether or not you need to pull a permit to do any work on a porch or a deck, easiest rule of thumb is if you're just replacing the boards you're gonna step on, those can be done without a permit. If you're replacing anything that is structural or safety, so any of the supports, your handrails, those items will require a permit. That permit is not because I'm worried about costing you money or taking you time. Those permits are because I need to make sure that when you rebuild these things, you rebuild them in a manner that is safe, that will prevent any injury, which also helps you because it will prevent any claims on your homeowner's insurance, any lawsuits. It works for everybody. So that's all I have for you on those. If you have any questions about any of those items, give a call to the office. Um, you can call me at 698-1101. And you can actually even pass those messages through my new administrative assistant. Her name is Terry, and her extension is 124. Thank you.